Mehmet Chah Taiguler is a foreign policy analyst at Siddhartha Foundation. He joins us from Ankara. Welcome, Mehmet. Thanks for joining us. So I guess it would have been very optimistic, given the way things have been going in Ukraine, to expect much out of this meeting. But this was one chance for Russia to try to change the game here, to try to save face if it wants to and turn this thing around and get out of what could be a very prolonged, if not, I guess, disastrous campaign for them ultimately. The fact that the Russian foreign minister didn't want to agree on anything, didn't even want to agree to humanitarian corridors, what does that tell you? As you said, I mean, we wouldn't expect that much from this meeting. And at the end, we see that there is no breakthrough regarding the uh, war. And we also see that there is a simultaneous attacks in the field, especially uh, in some regions closer to the Kiev Oblast and closer to the uh, Mariupol. So we see that uh, it is significant that having a dialogue between the, between the two parties of, of this war, and it is also significant and very crucial that having a, I mean, ensuring such a, uh, such a dialogue and uh, such a line between the two sides, it's very, I mean, very significant, because uh, all wars, I mean, all wars end up uh, during the during the bilateral negotiations or multilateral negotiations, uh, and through a diplomatic channel. So having a having open a diplomatic channel and ensuring a mm -hmm. diplomatic channel is very significant. But in the end, uh, as you said, I mean Russia had a, had a chance to uh, to wrap up, maybe to to end this this uh, maybe a prolonged may to be a prolonged war. But in the end, we see that I mean it was just a just a sing, single meeting, and as yeah. far as I see from the from the Russian media, I mean they approach this meeting as an informal meeting because when I see mm. that when I see the news, there was a I mean uh, there was a line that that says it will be a, a no tie meeting, which means it will be an informal meeting where the two sides. Will uh, will have a dialogue. Will will gun. I mean, they say what they think about this war and how it's gonna end. They, I mean, it's just a dialogue, as as yeah. Russians approach. Yeah. Now, so another thing. The, uh, oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Mehmet. Yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. I was just gonna say another thing that we heard was even after this. Okay, you mentioned rightly that that Russia treated this as somewhat informal, as sort of. Let's just show up. We will talk and see what happens. But then we hear Russia repeating its same old talking points, blaming this, that, and the other thing on Ukraine. This doesn't lend much optimism for anything more going forward diplomatically. That's so true, and that is what happened uh, during the during the negotiations, uh, three negotiations in in Belarusian border. So yeah, I mean Russia is, I mean, repeatedly and reiterates what it what it expects from the Ukrainian side, which are uh, having a, a non-partisan, having a neutral uh, Ukraine, which will not, I mean, which will guarantee that it will not be a, a NATO member, and also. Uh, they expect to see that Ukraine will recognize both Crimea and Donbas, which will, mm -hmm. I mean, which is not a case, which is not an issue from the Ukrainian side. Because when we look at the Ukrainian demands, they say that Russia should retreat all the troops in its borders, including Crimea and Donbas. Even though the some optimism that is uh, indicated by the President Zelensky, it is still, I mean, I mean, those those lines, those red lines drawn by the Russians are not in the table from the Ukrainian side. And Russia, I mean, at, at this point, uh, at the current stage of this war, has no place, has nowhere to force Ukrainians to accept those red lines. That's the most significant point. Mm. If Russia has the ultimate hand, if Russia maybe encircled the Kiev before this meeting, then we, we would expect 
some some breakthrough. We would expect some ceasefire from the Ukrainian side. But Ukraine still says that I mean we will not we will not accept any domination. We will not accept any uh, concessions. Yeah. So I mean yeah, Russia has no place to to force those concessions in the end. Yeah. And I mean, Ukraine, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Ukraine came out of this meeting saying, what well, Russia is demanding amounts to a sur surrender, and we are not going to surrender. All right, Mehmet, really good to talk to you. Thanks so much.